Welcome to the long-awaited update video on the van. Welcome back. I'm going to run over a couple of things that we mentioned in the last video of uh, a couple things that I wasn't sure what I was doing and uh, I got an update for two things. The first one is my shore power. I went simple on this. So you remember in the last video, which I'll link wherever, if I open this too far, the hinge would catch it on the way back and snap this off. Well, I went the easy route, simple, keep it simple, stupid. And I took this piece of plastic and I glued it right to the like molding. So this won't open all the way, it just hits that. Two reasons I did it that way. One, I'm not drilling a hole in here and making a mechanical spring or anything. That's a little more complicated. Plus, if I drill into here and put a spring, it compromises my like waterproofing. So this was my, it, it's not perfect. I probably could have rounded it, but I don't have the tools to do that really, um, but it works. And so like if it's all the way open, watch it break on me when I, <laughs> as you can see, it doesn't hit. So thankfully that is fixed. I don't have to worry about it. I was a little concerned I was just gonna break it again. So that's why I did that. The second thing, actually I'll open this back up. Okay, before I show you this, I've gotten a lot done since the last video. So we'll go over everything. I got the tank is all strapped in. I've got my mount here, my mount here. Um, I One of you commented about the tank rubbing on the aluminum. I did put the smooth side for everything. So it's slick, it shouldn't be that bad, but it is secure and it's it's strapped down with these from the top and then this is holding it to the side along with that piece so starting back here what i've done is nothing over here but over here as you can see i finally got some cabinets made first cabinets i've ever made giant pain in the ass but turned out i've got my panels here so i don't have the power on right now but this is my fill port so uh i got some hoses things coming that will fill that up. This is an outdoor shower. So a little hose will plug into that and wash my feet off, wash mama's feet off. <laughs> this is a tank monitor. So this monitors my fresh and gray tank. I don't have a black tank, so I got that disabled. And I can also transfer that over to my Victron, which I don't have that hooked up right now, so I won't show you, but it's cool, trust me. I've got a little bit of the wall started here and that's pretty much it, right? In the mm -hmm. back, yep. that all I've done. I haven't done anything with the doors yet, although we did put this plastic back on, which was, it came stock. We were gonna put like wood here and paint it, but this is light. I have some ideas for That's that. Done. Mama's got some ideas, so it might change. In here, let's let the, let the lighting, I finally got a cabinet here. This is gonna be like my internet area here. That's why there's so many wires. I'm actually gonna take this cabinet back out. What you got there? <laughs> and put a fan in here to because this is going to be pretty hot so to get some of that out did i have this wall done mm -mm. i didn't have any of this done I, oh that's right i had to take it down mm -hmm. this wall is done painted the bench is done and secured in heater inside the step is finally done so that's kind of nice i mean i don't have the the flooring on the top it's of not it. like complete complete it's, it's not complete but it's, it's constructed yeah ah uh, the shower so this was not bad it was a little time consuming because it's such a small area but it turned out pretty nice do you want to explain what you used this is uh what's called palisade tile it used to be called duma wall they rebranded it's a vinyl like pvc tile and you just glue it on so the backing i put like go board and which is waterproof itself and then stuck this stuff to it like i said it wasn't bad but you have to basically the back of it you glue and stick it on and then all these joints have to be siliconed to keep water out from getting between the tile and the go board that was kind of a pain to i only have one caulking gun so i had to flip back and forth from sealants but you know it wasn't bad and then down here we have the I feel like I'm doing a van tour early. <laughs> um, we got the, the toilet vent done. So that'll exhaust the poo air out. And then <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the wire there is for the toilet fan. I got the kitchen cabinets are done-ish. I mean, I still gotta make drawer boxes. 
which I don't really know how to do, but we'll figure it out. I figured this out. This was my first like base cabinet I've ever made in my entire life. Turned out okay. I'm doing the countertop, but we'll get to that video at some point, maybe mm -hmm. in the van tour or something. Mm -hmm. outsourcing on this van because I know nothing about countertops. I, I'm not a kitchen guy. So we made the decision to uh, outsource this plus we're running out of time. So the Wait. only thing. The only thing, yeah. That's He's it. done everything else by himself. Uh, and so we're getting Corian countertops, hopefully. Hopefully it works. <laughs> yeah, the guy, the, we might get there and the guy's like, yeah, no. <laughs> there's, there's, there's it that. should work though. I yeah. Mean, we, we, we're, our friend Nora, thank you Nora, if you ever watch this, you've been a godsend on helping us get everything situated and ordered. Uh, she came over and kind of told us what we needed to do and uh, hopefully it works. Yeah, it will. I, it will. I pulled up, like, you know, you guys know I'm super anal about everything, so I pulled up all the PDFs on Corey and what you need for support and all this stuff, so I tried to build the cabinets mostly the way they want them. So we'll see. We'll see what the guy says. Also, just want to say, this is the second time we've driven this thing in the past six months. Yeah. So, oh, it sounds first, good. First time on the highway. First time on the highway. Yeah, first time with like our shower done, mostly done, um, and then this in there, and the cabinets. It sounds good. Nothing's rattling, nothing, nothing's rolling yet. Uh, one bolt. We have what, one yeah. random bolt one somewhere rock. rolling around. And the only other thing I hear, some of the comments on the last video are, I hope you don't have rattles, but we've been, you know, trying to take precautions. But the only thing I really hear is paint. Like, kind of sticking. Sticking like, and moving. So, but that could just be because we're not 100% bolted down, too. So. That's pretty much it, right? I think so. I mean, it's a lot for like the last month. We've got some of this done. This will probably be a separate video, but that's all sort of half done. Well, that's yeah. kind of what we're working on today, but we wanted to do a quick update. That's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. I mean, we shouldn't say that because this is a lot. It's been a, ton, <laughs> you know? it's been a ton of work, yeah. We just kind of wanted to do a quick update because it's been a while and we quit filming because Milwaukee. Harley is having the 120th anniversary party in Milwaukee in July, and we booked a campground for it. Which is in a month. Which is in a month from the filming of this video, and obviously we're not done yet. <laughs> so, as you know, if you ever film yourself doing anything, it takes about four times longer to film yourself and do it than it would be to just do it. So, I kind of put the camera down. The last thing I want is to be in Milwaukee with no running water or a working toilet or air conditioning because I'm a princess. Um, <laughs> so I just been, been busting, man, trying to get it done. And uh, we ordered countertops. It's the only thing I've sourced elsewhere without doing myself. So we've ordered countertops and those are about a month out. So <laughs> we'll see if we have countertops or a piece of plywood on yeah. here. Yeah. Um, I will put plywood on there and we will use that for mm -hmm. a countertop if, if I have to, but I don't want to, I want to be done. Yep. But anyway, that's kind of where we're at. Anything you want to add? Um, for the Milwaukee thing, I hope our bike makes it. Oh. We were on, so we went to, um, we met Adam up in Lincoln this past Tuesday, right? Yep. Um, we went up there with a couple friends of ours and the ride up there, Brian's cruise control stopped working. So. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, let's go show them the bike. Okay. Before we before we shut this down, I'll show you what I have going on with the bike. So, you know a couple years ago, I did handlebars on it. Well, the handlebars are internal wired, and so all the control wires go through this 90 degree here. So they go around here, and then they turn and go another 90 degrees down here. And what I think I have going on, my kill switch sometimes isn't working, 
and my cruise also isn't working and it's on the same handlebar like side everything over here seems to be working fine but i think what i have going on possibly or could this just could be my brain going to the worst possible thing that happens a lot for you yeah um it might be it's like some wire chafing <laughs> um so i'm a little nervous that i'm gonna ride it's 720 ish mm -hmm. miles to milwaukee from here and if <laughs> Again, Listen, with the princess. I've done it before. I, back in the day, I didn't have cruise on a bike and I rode 9,000 miles that just that one summer. And so, you know, I've done it, but like I've kind of gotten soft on this bike and I like cruise control. So it went out last week and I've been freaking out about it, but I, we don't really have time to fix it, so. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed that just turning it off and turning it back on again fixes it. <laughs> anyway. That's our announcement that we're going to Milwaukee in July of 2023. So if you guys are up there, holler at us. We'll be around, probably. We'll also be in Sturgis for the whole week. <laughs> um, we're gonna be staying at the Buffalo Chip. I know, I know, I know, I know. If you've been watching us for a while, you'll remember me not liking the Buffalo Chip. Um, we were in a tent. I don't do tent camping. This thing will be done by August. <laughs> we hope. Hopefully, uh, with the air conditioning, so. I think it's gonna be a whole new experience um, in the van at the chip. So we will be there. Hope to see people there. Chip for 10 days? 10 days, yeah. Right on. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be better. Yeah. Like she said, you know, when you're tent camping, you get a little hot, you get a little sticky, mm -hmm. and you get a little cranky when you're doing it. Cause you don't get much sleep. No. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. Our friends are gonna be there. Yeah. You guys are gonna be there. It'll be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Sign us off. Bye. <laughs> Brian and Heather, why did it take you so long to build a van? What? Why did it take us? Why does it take us so long to build this van? Because I, I put tools places and forget where I put them. Because I'm my brain is spastic and I don't put them back. In, I'm going to use them right away. <laughs> so don't put them back in the drawer and then I don't use it right away. And we We've spent it. like 15, 15 minutes or so looking for a deburring tool. Tool? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no idea where it is. No idea.